Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today we are doing another DCEU movie. Um, we will be finishing this, by the way, the first week of April. That will be our last review, depending on the results of the poll that I have online, which ends uh, the ne and then and the next week. That will depend on what series I do next. So make sure you guys are voting those polls and I'll get those started. I might close the poll a little early if I'm being honest with you because I might get to filming my April ones a little early, but we'll see how we go. Um, but today we are continuing the DCEU um, with a movie that I have not particularly been looking forward to. But uh, I did do it. I sat down and I watched all two hours of Justice League. Justice League was written by Chris Tero and Joss Whedon and directed by Zack Snyder. Um, one weird little thing, in case you weren't, you didn't know. Um, so Zack Snyder, uh, something happened, I don't really remember, I don't really care if I'm honest with you, um, which might sound insensitive because it might have been awful, I don't remember, I just don't remember. I would comment on it if I, did, if I knew, but I don't, so I, I can't. Um, but he dropped out midway to deal with something, I think maybe his wife was sick or something, um, and so Joss Whedon came in and apparently finished the film, and apparently that's why it was awful. Um, but, uh, good news, sort of, I guess, maybe, depending on how you feel about Zack Snyder, which I don't particularly care for him, um, he is releasing his own cut of the movie, which is four hours long, and will premiere on HBO Max and in theaters on the 18th of March. Uh, maybe it isn't theaters. There's no way it's theaters. It's a, it's a four hour long movie. It's just HBO Max. Um, which I will be watching and reviewing. There's a good chance I don't upload the review on the 18th because I will be, um, watching it with some friends on a Thursday night. I will, however, probably release it, um, on the 19th, um, of March. However, The Courier also comes out that day, so it might be a, uh, and The Falcon when a Soldier starts, so it might be a... Might be a pretty packed day. I might still do it that day regardless, just to give that to you guys, because um, I know a lot of people are going to be interested in my thoughts on the Snyder Cut. But today we're only going to be talking about the regular Justice League movie, which is kind of sort of directed by both Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon. I think it's important that you know that, um, mainly because I guess the internet thinks it's important that you know that, because Zack Snyder's been blowing up freaking Twitter and stuff with just, you know, the Snyder Cut everything, which is fine, I guess. I, I am, I am, I do want to point out that I am a little bit more excited for the Snyder Cut than this movie. But if you don't know what the Justice League is about, basically Batman, uh, with the upset of Superman dying at the end of Batman v Superman, um, which was dumb, by the way, um, basically assembles a team to fight, um, uh, what's his face? I can't even remember. I watched it ten minutes ago. Literally, like, ten minutes ago. I already forgot his name. It's like Heim. I think it ends in Heim. I don't remember. It doesn't. It's unimportant. Unrelated. Basically, he's the DCEU Thanos. Okay, and he's taking these three mother blocks, and he's gonna take them and put them together, and then he can destroy worlds. Okay, he's the he is the destroyer of worlds, as they call him. Um, and essentially, they get them all together. They get the team together. They bring Superman back from the dead, just casual. Um, and they go and they fight this guy. Sort of. It's a weird movie. I I'm excited to talk about it today because it's it's. It's, it's weird. I it gave me the biggest headache trying to watch this movie today. I literally finished like 10 minutes ago, so my brain is still like... Mm. But, um... It's, uh, it's intense. And intense in not a good way. We start off with a little bit of exposition here, okay? We get a little bit... We get to introduce a little to uh, all the characters, really. Um, which is good. So, with Suicide Squad, I want to bring that up. Um, half the movie was exposition and in this one the first 10 minutes was exposition the rest of it was just a fight scene I swear to god I swear to you I swear to you that's how it really worked I don't know what happened I one minute it was the beginning and then the next minute it was the end it's two hours long but it felt like five minutes and also felt like an eternity it was I can't explain it I feel like I have whiplash like it was a, like all gone I don't understand how it happened but it did and I'm not really happy about it <laughs> um the majority of the movie is this big fight scene that you really can't understand um, because we start off, we understand that there's this guy and he wants to put these blocks together. Oh, like, oh this is going to be really cool. We're going to get a dark side movie, right? No. you Nope. Mm -mm, nope. You're not going to get one of those. Uh, basically, he puts them together and then Superman's like, mm, no. And then that's like the whole movie. 
Like, literally. Like, there's a big fight and everything with these weird, like, demons, fear-smelling bug people. Um, and that's, like, it. And I'm like... Bleh. Uh, it was teased as, like, a bigger threat than Batman v Superman. I'm like, I don't know. Pretty sure Batman v Superman was worse. Um, Justice League did not have a very good villain at all. A very, very poor villain. Um, they could have just beaten him down and won, probably. It really wasn't very hard to do. Um, there were no stakes. Never at any point was I afraid anyone was going to die or lose. I was always like, mm, it doesn't matter. They're going to win this one. Which, one thing that I think Marvel does pretty well is, like, raises the stakes a little bit. Um, but in the same... Mm, in, in a movie, right? You can't have a superhero coming back to life and have a bad villain, okay? You can probably do one or the other, okay? You can prob... I wouldn't recommend it, but you, you can probably do one or the other. But you can't say, oh, we're going to raise our strongest superhero to go against our weakest villain. It's like a boring movie. That is a boring concoction of boringness. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and talk about the acting real quick because I think that was probably the highlight of the film. First, Ben Affleck is Batman. A little worse, I think, in this one uh, than he was in Batman v Superman. I liked him a lot in that one. This one just felt like he was kind of lazy in terms of what he was doing. Uh, somehow, because he had a bigger goal in this one, like, it just didn't feel very motivated, you know? Like, in the first one, I was like, okay, he thinks Superman's a terrorist. Great. I can get behind that. In this, it was like, oh, bad guy. Must, um, must get other people to help. And then he just kind of sits there and does nothing. He drives his Batmobile for a scene. That's like it. It's like all you see of him. And it's like, I want I want good Batman thriller action. Um, but unfortunately, you don't get a lot of that here. And Ben Affleck, as much as I don't think it's necessarily his fault, wasn't up to par um, with what I think he has been in the past. Henry Cavill as Superman. Hated him, hated him, hated him in this film. I don't know why, but every time he was on screen for this one, I was like, hmm, it didn't really feel like Superman. He felt different. I don't know what it was. Something was different. It was maybe his voice, maybe he looked different. I mean, I really had that fake CGI mouth that I don't want to talk about, and I won't talk about. I won't talk about the awful CGI mouth. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about it. If you want a video about that one thing, I will make a video about it. Drop in the comments down below. It'll be a rant video about bad CGI. But still, <clears throat> moving on. I don't really like Henry Cavill in this one, which is really disappointing because I really liked him in Man of Steel and in Superman, uh, Batman v Superman. This one just felt kind of lazy. Again, I don't really understand why, but like, they just don't have good motives. They're like, oh yeah, I'm back to life. Aha! And like, that was the whole movie. I was like, why? You're in the action for like a minute, and then you end it. It's like, why don't you just show up earlier? It's like, you should still be the guy that wants to save the world, right? That's like your thing. <laughs> but whatever. Next, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Um, we don't really get a lot of Wonder Woman in this. We get a lot of fight secrets, which is like, yeah. And then there's that cool part of the movie where it's like, do 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 with her bullets and stuff. Not bad. Um, I think she was better in her solo film. Um, but not awful. Um, I... I it was hit or miss, I think, in this one. There wasn't a huge amount of screen time for her, really. Most of the screen time was dedicated to, like, no one. It, I don't know what happened. Two two hours. I watched the movie for two hours, and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I mean, I understand. But I know the plot, and I watched it all. I watched all of it. But, like, from the first minute to the, the last minute, it felt like five minutes and an eternity, and no one got screen time. It felt, it was really weird. It was really, really weird. I can't explain it. Ezra Miller as The Flash, 100% the best part of this movie. Um, he's hilarious, he's funny. I love Ezra Miller, I always have, you guys know that. Um, I'm really excited to see him in this. I want him to have a solo movie. I hope we get way more of him in the Snyder Cut. I'll be very happy. Um, I think other fans will be happy too, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he's like he's like the Spider-Man of the... Uh, of the DCEU where he's funny and crack jokes and make pop culture references like um, uh, like that movie he references a lot and that one Pet Cemetery um, very funny stuff I, I don't think he's as good as Spider-Man but he's, he's like he's, he is the equivalent I think um, in terms of, of character wise um, he's really fun I like his powers I think he runs kind of weird which I'm hoping they fix uh, in the Snyder Cut but I guess we'll see um, I like I want to get more of the tragic backstory which I hope we get in the Flash as well but also, I understand he's going to be a crime person, uh, which we may not get a backstory at all then. But I guess we'll see. Jason Momoa as Aquaman. I actually really didn't like Aquaman in this. 
he just felt kind of funny, which is fine. I understand a lot of characters are funny in, in superhero movies, but he feels like he should be mean and aggressive, and he's really not. And it's kind of annoying because I think we could have had that fun balance when he's under the impression, the, the rope thing where he has to tell the truth. I think it'd be more interesting if he was always mean and then he was super nice during that. That would have been really cool and really creative. Instead, they were like, oh, he's just nice all the time and funny all the time. It's like, no, I would like him if he was fierce, at least at some points. Um, I'm hoping they fix that as well in his solo movie, um, which I'll be watching next Monday. So make sure you guys are subscribing so you guys can get that content, right? I appreciate it a lot. Next, we have Ray Fisher as Cyborg. He's fine. Uh, I heard he's not coming back after Snyder Cut because he hated working at DC. Can't blame you. Um, but uh, not a lot of screen time. Virtually no background. Very dry background. Uh, very vague, I should say. Uh, I think it would have been really cool if we went back into it and really got to see a lot more of it, which is why I'm hoping we see that in the Snyder Cut. I'm hoping the Snyder Cut is just a lot of exhibition and then... Reasons why we're fighting. That'd be great. That's all I want in the Snyder Cut. But overall, acting was like subpar for the most part. But I do think adding Ezra Miller into this cast was a wonderful idea. But uh, I think that's going to do it for me today in terms of talking about Justice League. I'm sick and tired of talking about it, if I'm honest with you. Um, I am excited to watch Snyder Cut. I will be releasing a video on that probably on the 19th of March. If I don't do it on the 19th, it'll definitely be up on the 20th. Um, but we shall see. Uh, according to my calendar, tomorrow's my birthday, so that's pretty cool. Um, hope future me is excited about it. I'm currently not really caring about it. I'm filming this on the 15th of February. I don't know anything. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this movie a C+. I think a C plus is fair. Well, that's going to do it for me today. As always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>